Hey guys and welcome back to Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits, make lures, and all that fun stuff. Alright, we're going to do this jerk today. It's another jerk bait and uh, this is for an order for a customer. So I always try to, when I got an order, then if I haven't painted the video, I try to get the video done for you. And uh, this has got some really cool colors to it. Um, so colors we're going to use, of course, obviously we've already got her primed up in the golden titanium white all right and uh next color we're going to do is pearlized whoop that's copper i need gold here it is copper was from the last video okay so we're going to use this createx pearl satin gold all right it's kind of a light gold you can see it almost looks like the copper but the copper has got just a little bit of a more of a red tint to it um, so it really doesn't I don't know I, I question the copper um, and another one I got is the wicked gold shake it up here real good so you can see it okay and you can see the gold settling on the bottom there um, and it's more of a little I mean, when it's shooken up real good, it's 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 more of a deeper color. If you kind of look at that bottom right there, um, so we got we're gonna go with the pearl satin gold. I like I like the way this gold looks. Okay, and then um, we're gonna coat the top of it with this pearlized pearl magenta. Okay, and um, then we're gonna come back with the blue on top. And just will kind of it'll kind of fade that to to a purple. It'll be blue on top, and it'll have a purple, purple, little lighter than the than the plum color. Just the two colors really blend good together, all right. And then we're gonna come back, and I haven't done this before in a video, but we're gonna use this dragonfly glaze. It's a red, violet, blue shift. And these look awesome, man. I've been using these on baits. I got a couple of them coming up. I'm going to paint in the videos. And uh, this stuff here, it's a little tough to work with. You got to thin it out really good. I mean, it's got to be thin. Um, and it doesn't take much, really. Um, you just kind of, I use, a lot of times I use this this little airbrush, this little master. It's not one of really high quality brush. And um, it's got like a point five needle in it and sometimes it even clogs too so um yeah so we're gonna paint that today i've already got some already broke down reduced down but uh you just got to play around with it and you got to get it to where you uh to where it's spraying out good without clogging so so let's get a little gold on the bottom of this lure got my brush all cleaned out real good this down so we don't blow it up any of these pearls you're always better off if you can reduce them down a little bit I got this stuff reduced down pretty good in the bottle so uh, better stir it up a little bit more I dropped a little 4012 in there and uh, put the gold on top and just mix it in here with a little toothpick. Okay, Let's see what it looks like now. Still blowing out pretty good. I'm gonna bring this pressure way down. I got it thin. There we go. I think that's what we're after. All right. If you're unsure, start far away. I 
and then you can gradually move in on it. up the body just about the top of the fin there and we'll dust a little bit just so that purple or actually I'm sorry that magenta catches it all right let me clean this out and uh, we'll get the next color in there okay so next color we're going with this pearlized Pearl magenta. And we're just going over the top down to the gold. Let me give it a little more air. Okay, and we're just going to come down. that blue and we want the purple the blue the purple and then the magenta come into the gold that's looking pretty good I'm gonna come down just a little further on this one okay this chin I'm sorry get his nose a little bit all right, I'm gonna dry that. Actually, I'm not gonna dry that. I'm just gonna leave it a little wet. And I get this magenta out of here and we'll add in the blue. Okay, so we didn't have to do much cleaning we, since we're going to that magenta. Anyway, um, we basically just got most of the paint out of there and, and Put a few drops of this blue, pearlized pearl blue. Turn this down a little bit, and I might not have said it at the beginning. Um, this is the this is the blue purple back, blue back. Crusty blue back jerk. And there it is. 
that's it but you can see how it transitions from blue to purple down to magenta then down to that gold nice face. And I'm not going to blow out the face I want to keep that transition on the face as well Zip the back just a little bit more right here beautiful all right let me get the brush cleaned out and then we'll shoot that iridescent color shift on there okay got this dragonfly glaze it's from folk art and uh shout out to ugly dog lures because i think i was he was the one i seen using this um so i picked up a few bottles just a couple different color shifts to try it out um yeah if you haven't watched ugly dog lures go check him out he's got some great paint schemes some great baits him and another one of my favorites is blind symmetry check them guys out check both of them out they both have some great videos on blending colors and using iridescence um, so this one is the red violet shifts and what I did was I pre mixed some up in a cup and it takes very very little of this stuff to make an effect and um, you, you can see the consistency of it it's a little it's about like milk like a low fat 2% milk maybe Maybe just a little bit thicker, but I would say it, it wouldn't hurt even if it was reduced down a little more. It doesn't clog this gun, um, but sometimes when I first put it in, it was clogging up on me because it just didn't have it thinned down enough. But thin it down. And all we're going to do is just, and it's, I know it's probably hard to see on camera, And you'll really see it once the epoxy's on there. And it really looks better on a darker color. So like the blues, blacks, purples, it really shows up good. And it's gonna be very hard for you guys to see the full effect of it on camera, I'm sure. But I'll do my best to show you. And you probably even can't see it against that blue but I can see it pretty good it looks pretty amazing once the epoxy's on it you see that shift and then having that purple and that blue underneath of it's only going to make it even twice as effective I think all right let me get this dried up get some epoxy on there and I'll bring you back all right for eyes on this guy we're going to go with these iridescent they're little, but they kind of got that rainbowy flash to them. And uh, this is what I used on the bait originally. Customer seen it, like the bait. So I don't want to change the eyes from what he's seen in the picture. real gentle on these little guys because uh, 
don't want a cloudy eye. other side on there. Wait, th this one's going to look cool once you guys see it with the epoxy on it. I hope the sparkles show up on camera. The iridescence of it. Sometimes they pop right on there, and sometimes you gotta battle them. Push this guy down a little bit. Make sure he's seated in there. Looks good, looks good. All right. Let's get some epoxy on him. I'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, friends, we're back and here's the crusty blue purple back herring. I really like the way the colors came out on this. These colors work really good together. If you can see, we've got almost four colors in there that, that are blending real nice. Um, I'm hoping that uh, iridescent color shift shows up on there. Cause I was looking at it after I took it out of the booth, and man, it's really cool. I know the camera never does justice for what these baits look like or what anybody's baits look like when they paint them on YouTube. But uh, yeah, this one, the colors really popped on this. And uh, I've painted this before, but only once, and I never used the iridescence. So I thought I'd give it a little pizzazz, and man, I hope you can see that on the camera. But it's looking good, that color shift. Um, okay, so colors we used today, titanium white. We used a pearl satin gold for the belly. And then we come down on top with uh, some pearlized pearl magenta. And then we hit that top with uh, pearl blue, which the two colors blending together give it a little purple. And then we used, for the first time on this bait or on these videos, I used the Dragonfly Glaze, picked it up at Walmart, it's folk art, and it's the Red Violet Blue Shift. And man, it really shifts nice on these colors. You almost got to use those on a dark color for them to really show up. Now I got another video I'm going to do here soon where I use the yellow green, yellow green, color shift on a light color bait um, but I think these really work good on dark colors like blacks and blues is where you really see it dark deep purples and things like that um, so I've, like I said I've used it on a few baits now and I really like the way it, that color shift works shout out to ugly dog lures for bringing that to my attempt to our attention because he did some color shift videos and I believe that was the colors, the types of paint he used. But if not, I apologize. But definitely go check it out. Get it, get it at your Walmart. Dragonfly Glaze. This one was the red, violet, blue shift. Uh, they have about four different colors that you can get. Um, but there's the finished lure, looking good. Um, did do this for a customer, so I'm sure he's going to be real happy with it. And. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that like button if you like this video. If you like what I'm doing here, uh, I'm trying to break in and give you guys a bunch of good color mixes that go together well. Um, and then we'll get into doing some color mixing. But uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help me hit that 1,000 subscriber goal that I'm after. And give me a like. Helps me get out there. And 
ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up the next video. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends. Thank you.